today I like to uh, talk about the floating uh, fractals. They appear whenever the market decides to turn. We did a trade today uh, based on seven up here, decaying fractal, longer term, three hour time frame. And we caught the uh, four hour time frame. Uh, we picked up about 30 points. Okay, now, when you're scanning, I like to point this out here. Okay, how do you find these fractals? Here's one here. Okay. That happened at uh, um, in the morning, and we have another typical fractal here. That happened at uh, 7.30, and look at what we have here, the growth fractal. In a one-minute time frame, you can find the particular fractal here on a two hour time frame or four hour time frame. Likewise, look at the three hour time frame. We have the same fractal here. Okay. Growth fractal, uh, I hesitated, began to fall, and then it reversed. So you can find your fractals on the uh, one minute time frame. And currently we're short right now. We're down 11 points. Uh, we picked up 30, but the fractals, uh, they do float. And you have to kind of be on watch when they're going to appear. We have uh, this particular decaying fractal we pointed out yesterday. It went down. And we have another decaying fractal top here uh, from yesterday going down. And we have another uh, decaying fractal here. Okay. And we have a reversal here. All right. Uh, today, It does look bearish to me, uh, but the idea is to capture uh, 5, 10, 20 points on a trade. We did that, okay? And you'll find it through the uh, floating uh, fractals, which appear on the time frames, uh, smaller time frame we're looking at here, and on the larger time frame, okay? So uh, you'll find fractals in our library, and you can go to uh, Neil's uh, channel, and he'll point them out every day for you, okay? We'll see what we can do during the day. Kind of early here, uh, it's about 10 o'clock. Hank Wernicke, signing off.